can absolutely whoop. Real, 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 real. Oh my god. What the heck happened here? Woo! Oh my god! Oh, big dog, baby! Woo! Oh my god! That is a jumpy! What is going on guys? Ryan from Living Salty here. In today's adventure, me and Senior Salty are heading offshore. We're gonna have start off by running along the beach, looking for some bait, running to some awesome, awesome surprises. Then we're gonna head offshore, testing out a brand new rig that we've never tried before. Hope you guys enjoy today's adventure. All right guys, we are on a big school. I think of all Jack Cravals. They're gonna be right over here. We're just running out offshore here, trying to catch some bait. And haven't seen us along the shore, so we're gonna try to have some fun here and see if we can get hooked up. But see your salt is on the rod right now. I think I have to go up closer. Hang on, I caught him on the end of the school. If we could destroy this popper. We got a whole nother school of jacks over here. It's also the popper out there on the popper. Oh! He's holding up on the popper! Come on, grab it! Oh, fish on, baby! Woo! Big old school of jacks over here! Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Top water bite here! Woo! Woo! You get a big old top water hit like that. Woo! Nothing better. Run at the boat. There we go. Woo! You're fine, Theo. Listen to that drag. Woo. These Jack Ravel are some of the hardest, hardest fighting fish in the ocean. Although they don't make good table fare, they make a great game fish out here. You guys can see we are not far off the shore at all. And the dead giveaway, as always, when it comes to fishing, where there's birds, there's fish. Running up and down the coast, we saw a bunch of birds flying over here. That's where we've been seeing all these schools of huge jack of valves. Or at least we think they're just jack of valves. That's what we saw. I feel him getting tired. Seems like he's coming up a little bit to the surface. And I feel his head shakes a little bit. Kind of slowing down. Should be able to get him in pretty soon here. Yeah, he's getting a little tired here. Near the fish. <laughs> coming up. Big old jack. <laughs> Big jack Are we here right now going away from the fish? Yeah, kind of. That doesn't really help. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty heavy setup. That's a pretty big jack. No. That's not I like that like setup. <laughs> Can absolutely whoop by this jack right now. Woo. Probably almost 10 minutes now on this fish. 10 minute bite? Yeah. Um, 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 um. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. There he oh, is. God, oh good. my god, he's oh. huge. Look at the size of that jack. Oh my god. He's going to take it up. Can you get him up? <laughs> you want me to turn? Alright, let's see. Come on. It's gonna go towards the back. Oh, Where is he? He did a little tuna roll there. Yeah, he did. Wow. Get your head up. Come on. Going on your boat. 
I can't, I can't net him unless you, you're gonna break it off. Just be careful. Biggest jack I've ever caught in my life. Oh my god! That is a donkey! Let's see if we can get him out of that. Oh my god! Holy cow! Look at the size of that jack Ravel! Look at him next to my foot! That is re freaking ridiculous! That's by far my biggest jack Ravel of my life. Because this is definitely gonna be the biggest jack of my life here so far. We're gonna get a quick measure on him. He is gonna be 33 to the fork and looks like 39 overall. We're gonna try to get a quick weight on him now. And before we do, if you like, go ahead and drop in the comments your prediction. I'm gonna say 20, 20, 24 pounds. Oh my God. Okay. Uh, 24, uh, 25. Oh, a little bit more than that. Where these lines go by too? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna call him 25. That's the safest number. 25 Jack, I can't even speak. 25 pound Jack Ravel. An absolute donkey. We're gonna get him up, show you guys, get some pictures. Release him back here safely. There we go. There is our 25 pound Jack Creval right there. What an absolute monster. I can barely even hold him up right now. He is huge, he is awesome. What an absolutely beautiful, magnificent fish right there. Oh my God. We to release the 25 pound Jack Creval head first. He's gonna be just fine. An absolute unit of a fish. You guys ready? One, two, three and swims off just like that. Now it's time to get Senior Salty on one of those. That is what I'm talking about. The gloves about. are in the cooler. Right. Oh. Woo! Fishing today. All the way down here. All the way down yes. here. We... All we wanted was a freaking blue runner. So this right here is gonna be a blue runner. This is the bait fish that we were after the last time we went out which you guys didn't see that video because we didn't really catch any fish to make a video of. But this is going to be the perfect bait to be giving our new rig a test. It's going to be a balloon rig. It's going to kind of mimic doing like a kite man or like a poor man kite man. Poor, poor man kite fishing setup. So these are the perfect little size blue runners that we wanted to use for these top baits. And we're on them today here at this buoy. We're hyped. We're going to load up on some bait. We're going to head out to our fishing grounds. Let's take a look on in the wild well there. You can see we got probably a little over a dozen, probably about 15 blue runners in there. Perfect size, little guys. Going on here to show you. Very nice size baits. And like I said, we're gonna be going ahead and rigging these up on what we're gonna go ahead here and call a four man's kite bait setup, which is going to be using a balloon to help keep the bait at the surface. And we're gonna be going ahead and rigging this guy up here. So we're gonna go ahead and put the first hook just through his nostrils here and we're going to be using a stinger rig on this one so we have the second treble hook over here we're going to stick it about halfway down his back but we want to leave a little bit of extra loop there in the wire so that way he has room to swim freely we'll stick that hook right in there and that is our rigged up blue runner right here perfect bait you can see we got the balloon over here out. So in addition to keeping that blue runner at the maximum distance that your leader is there, so we have about four or five feet leader, so that's as far as that blue runner can swim down. We can also have a visual representation, so now you can see that blue runner out there <laughs> swimming away from the boat. And a nice thing that the balloon does is also makes the blue runner struggle, or any of the bait fish that you use for this, because you don't just have to use a blue runner, it makes them struggle. So it. it because he's trying to swim down against a balloon. We're gonna go ahead and rig up the other one. We actually don't have a stinger rig on that because we're still experimenting with this, but. 
Okay, you can let him out now. Okay. So you can see Senior Salty there, he's letting out that first long bait first this time and we're actually running the boat in gear right now just to make it a little bit easier to get that first bait out as far as we want to get it and we don't have to worry about crossing lines or anything and we know our long bait out our long bait is as out far out as we want it to now we got that long bait out we can go ahead and set our short bait out and now this time we're going to set down a bottom rod and start bottom fishing with some squid hopefully we can get some snappers and all that kind of good stuff oof looks like we might have just marked a shark you can see that big old marking on the bottom that's looking a little sharky to me but hopefully we avoid him and uh find ourselves some good fish here today all right we changed up spots went a little bit deeper to about 150 feet of water we got our first hit on the squid today he's not putting up much of a fight with an eight pound or eight ounce lead on here he's slowly coming out kind of just feels like dead look dead weight at this point but haven't had any really action today. A few sharks coming up to check out our flatline balloon base there, and we're getting that fish up here right now. Looks like a pile of fish. Like a cousin of a pile of fish. Mm -hmm. Well, not exactly what we were looking for, but we gonna get this de-hooked and get a bait back down. Just because the fish doesn't mean it's a shark. You got him on or no? He's still hanging on, the balloon's gone. Well, should I just reel this one in? Probably, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that on. Does? Look at that. Look at oh that. my god, look at that rod go. Jesus. It is. Oh my god. That's insane. <laughs> I've never seen a fish bite like that. That is crazy, guys. See your salty is hooked up on the flat line finally something a decent size we're gonna go ahead and put this up here now it feels like a shark he kept on hitting it every time but he never hooked he never hooked yeah nope, never hooked. i don't know what that was oh shit what the hell what the heck happened what the heck happened here Real, 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 real. Oh my God. <laughs> oh God. He got shot again. All right, this is not a good place to stay. Yeah, we're gonna have to move. Well, we're oh in my anyway. God. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna go for squid. <laughs> real, 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 real. Oh my God. <laughs> oh God. He got shot again. Jesus, look at the size of that shark. Well, we ended up having a little difficulty offshore today. I mean, me and she are salty. Every time after an offshore trip, we always talk about what we did wrong and today. We're not really sure what we did wrong. We had the right bait or what we thought was the right bait today. We had the right rig. Everything seemed right. They just did not seem like a lot of fish around, but that's fishing for you. Super stoked to get my biggest jack though of my life there at the beginning of today's video. Very unexpected, but it was awesome, awesome blow up on the top water. If you guys did enjoy that, make sure you hit the like button. Definitely consider subscribing down below to see more videos just like that. If you guys are interested in seeing more videos like today's adventure, I'm going to go ahead and link another one on the left side of the screen over here for you guys to check out next. Thank you guys so much for watching again. Until my next video, remember to keep, keep living salty. salty.